What's going on, guys? It's Trinity Tribe. Big of a quick uh, general read. I pulled Gemini, Libra, and Virgo. You could be one of those signs, or you could be dealing with one of those signs. I had a small little incense that I had, but you know what? I'll just use this. I cleansed my cars this morning, did a little bit of cleaning. Still got some more to go, but I did all my cards for a fit. Try to get the um the old energy off of my cards so we could channel something fresh here. Um, all right, so I got a lot of messages last night. Like I said, I was too tired to, um, to post, but all right. So I got strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out. So baseball could be significant. Some of you guys could be watching that, um, or somebody could have possibly been in jail three times. They're, they striked out for whoever that's resonating for. Um, also got, I'm focused, man. You should know this, man. So somebody here is focused on something. I got dexterous, which means um, showing or having skills, especially with the hands. So somebody could be skilled here. Somebody could do something with their hands or somebody could just be very dexterous, very skillful. Um. I also got anti-inflammatory. So some of you guys could be taking aspirin or ibuprofen meds at this time. All right. Um, Spirit says uh, you should try a more holistic way if you are on meds. Um, a new diet, preferably. Uh, one, especially with uh, zero to no sugar, to little sugar. Um, no breads, pasta, chips, crackers, cakes, cookies, all of that. Um, some of you guys may want to pick up on tomatoes and, and olive oil, green leafy vegetables, spinach, kale, collards, fatty fish like salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, and fruits and vegetables like strawberries, blueberries, cherries, oranges, because somebody could be dealing with something um, with the blood circulation. Somebody's blood circulation is like off. Somebody may need to go to the doctors for that. Um also got conflict of interest so i don't know some of you guys are in a judicial field or is something maybe you and your partner is having a conflict of interest i don't know somebody's not seeing eye to eye here all right but i pulled a couple cards and i had just summed up a little a little um channeling so i got someone here is either in a relationship friendship or partnership that's been stagnant due to um someone being kept left waiting or somebody could be like the narcissistic type, always looking for something better. So somebody could have put somebody on a shelf and they could be looking for something better. Um, either someone had a handful of options or someone has a lot of obligations. So somebody could have been pushed to the side due to a lot of things that they have going on around their life, which could be rooted in turmoil, chaos and conflict. Or somebody had a bunch of options. And at this time, somebody's trying to weed out who they want, who they don't want. Or somebody could have been in their shadow side, just putting up illusions, smoke screens around a lot of individuals. Um, someone here has been trying to cloud somebody's judgment, though. They have. Um, someone could have either pulled away, started something new, and as fast as something new started, something ended. Or um, the person who they left you for walked away to, however way this goes, this person left them. All right, so someone's confused about offering because of some sort of mental confliction. Something's going on up top with somebody. They're going back and forth with themselves. I don't know if this is an action that they've taken against you, you, them. But I feel like here somebody has a lot of control issues and it's a power struggle. So if this is a masculine and a feminine, of course, the masculine thinks that he's right. Or if this is a feminine, I don't know. Maybe she's the dominant type and she feels though she's right. So there's some sort of conflict of interest going on here. All right, but someone is stressed out, um, recognizing that they always self-sabotage situations. Somebody's like very controlling. So they just always got to be in control of a situation here. All right. Um, and someone's very defensive and guarded. Someone could feel like uh, they want to offer something to someone, but someone either is hard to reach. They have a very hard shell to crack or uh, get next to. I heard what can get next to what's that? Um, deja vu. Somebody could be having deja vu at this time. 
All right. Um, someone thinks someone's an opportunist here. Someone, somebody could feel like somebody's an opportunist, like they're only coming, um, like they're only around or coming around for either uh, monetary gains or sex. All right. Someone could also feel like uh, someone is too focused on work. So maybe somebody works a lot and maybe somebody's not giving somebody uh, the time and the attention that they want or need, however way this goes. But um, someone is uh, juggling whether or not they should reconcile with the, uh, a soulmate because someone could be like still in karmic energy. All right. And you guys channel song was busting Nicki Minaj and little baby. So I don't know. That's what I channeled last night. Like I said, I was too tired to post anything. Got, I got in pretty late. So I was like, let me take myself to sleep. I need to wake up and do things. All right. Um, so let's just see here. Let's get some messages from Spirit. See what could be going on. I'm trying to make the messages more beneficial for you guys. More meaningful messages. Because that's what life is about, enlightening, enlightenment, all right? <clears throat> so dieting is very significant here. So we have trust, all right? I always, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So at this time here, somebody could be worried about a certain situation. It's to be a person who always like struggles, um, with their intuition maybe this is somebody who um always needs to be like validated so say if somebody does have a love interest here they would go towards their friends and they would ask somebody like um well what do you think about this person or um do you think this person is a fit for me x y and z but their higher self is is telling them exactly you know what they need so somebody needs to work on trust in their inner voice instead of the people around uh, instead of the people around them yeah somebody always go to friends here because they doubt themselves thank you spirit for the confirmation all right and somebody here could make somebody really happy but somebody's just worried they don't trust their intuition here somebody also could be feeling guilty about something maybe for not trusting somebody this could have been a friend who was trying to get them counseled yeah we got indecision somebody just didn't know how they felt about somebody or possibly about the counsel that somebody was giving them all right yeah somebody's regretful because i'm getting here maybe somebody told somebody something here that could have been beneficial or somebody was right about something and maybe somebody just doesn't want to accept the fact yeah somebody it's like indecisive about stepping out of a box, growing. Somebody here needs to tap into their um, imagination, get more. Um, I'm hearing storytelling. So somebody could be a book writer, a journalist or something. But somebody here wants to expand their consciousness. It's just like maybe they're getting counsel from somebody who they feel like is beneath them. So somebody possibly doesn't want to take it. Or if this is a masculine here, he feels as though or she, however way this goes, that they can't get um, good advice from the opposite sex. So somebody could just go to people who are just like them or think just like them. And this person constantly runs in circles. So if this is the case, if this is a masculine and you don't want to um, listen to a female here, maybe you should do more meditating so you can get more in tune with yourself. And if this is the feminine, you should do the same. But um, if you're feminine, maybe you should try getting counsel from a masculine and masculine, you should try a feminine because um, I'm telling you, we like masculines and feminines need each other to balance here. All right. I heard doggy dog world. I don't know what that means. Somebody may want to look that up. All right. So I'm getting that means like piggyback off of each other. You can learn something from this person. It can learn something from you. All right. Somebody here just needs to start using their intuition here. It's, it's three cards here indicating how your intuition can help you grow. All right. Or maybe somebody needs to do more studying or learning in a certain topic here. Somebody could be a teacher or not, maybe they want to be a teacher or some, a counselor, guidance counselor. I'm here. Somebody could work in a school or maybe you want to go to school for this. All right. Let's see. Yeah, because somebody could be getting, like, information or guidance from somebody who's deceptive. So, I mean, somebody's not going to give you the right information. Yeah, somebody could be speaking up, but they're deceptive. These people in the community, or this is like a friend group here who could be jealous of your love interest or a partnership, a friendship, however way this goes. Somebody could be jealous. So, do you think that a jealous person would give you wise counsel is what I'm saying? 
All right, so this is for Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Cross Watcher, whoever this may resonate for, whoever passes this message. All right, so Father God, I ask that um, you protect me as I channel these messages. And if anybody sends me anything negative, I ask that you send it back to them tenfold with the intent of peace, love, and light. All right, no more um, trying to cross into my energetic field. I got stung by a bee the other day, and it was basically telling me um, that means that somebody's like, overstep their boundaries in my energy field and somebody's going to be getting karma for that all right stay out of my energy field you, you are not welcome you are not invited all right what's the message here for libra gemini and virgo all right so we have shrimp yeah somebody's definitely struggling with their intuition here yeah and this is why there's no movement here all right it's something here or somebody could be trying to like tame this right now maybe somebody thoughts are always running wild i hear wow 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 thoughts when i was you all i can is my thoughts all right then i just heard barry white turn off the lights all right so then we have um shamiel so it's talking about somebody's creativity somebody could be like confused about a career path here or maybe somebody's having uh, inflammatory issues in the stomach, something going on with the gut. We got um, July the 3rd here. We have March the 7th. We have March the 5th. We have July the, uh, July the 5th. And we have May the 3rd and May the 7th. 37 and 50 is here. One of those numbers could be significant. 537. Some of you guys could be seeing 537. And this is about love. Somebody, I just heard, but you give me butterflies. Yeah, Raphael, somebody's meditating on us at this time here. All right, because I'm getting here. Maybe this is a situation where somebody was envious. Maybe somebody's more conscious than somebody. Somebody's more self-assured. Somebody, or or this failed because you, you was like taking counsel from somebody who's jealous of you and your partner or your partner. Somebody's jealous here or somebody was. Maybe somebody here didn't use their intuition about somebody. Maybe they were jealous of the person who was trying to give them counsel. Uh, that's what I'm getting. All right. Um, <clears throat> get one of these. Somebody here feels though a love interest can help them grow though, or somebody loves somebody for helping them grow. Maybe somebody shared some information here that has helped somebody. Yeah, we got something about a creative project. All right, so somebody's working on something here, creative. This could be a creator, some sort of influencer. Somebody's working on something. Spirit is saying that you're very fertile at this time. Start journaling your ideas as, as they come um, throughout the day. This is going to be beneficial because maybe somebody has like memory loss or a short attention span. You need to write down whatever you're thinking about during the day. So when it's time for you to start working on this project, you can remember, um, you know, what you wanted to do. Somebody's also looking for love in their life. Somebody wants more sweetness. Maybe somebody's in a relationship. They're indecisive about staying in it because somebody here doesn't, somebody's not kind to them or something like that. So somebody could be seeking um, love outside of a union here due to lack of love or lack of growth. Somebody could have been with somebody for a long time here and somebody hasn't seen any growth in a situation. Somebody's not sleeping well either. All right, somebody needs to get more grounded here. Root work. Go outside. Take your feet, bare feet. Go walk through some grass here. Get like get more in tune with the earth. All right. You gotta you gotta drain some of that energy that you're intaking here. Maybe somebody's toxic. Somebody's like intaking too much toxicity from somebody in their life. This could even be your thoughts. Somebody needs to clear their thoughts. Go out in the sun. Vitamin, uh, what is that, D? I'm also hearing vitamin C. All right, and somebody's going through some changes with their emotional state. I'm sensing here somebody who has never been in love or, or felt love because I heard, and I never knew love like this before. Somebody could, like, like just be in a situation where they, like, they just never felt this type of love that they had for somebody. I'm... Somebody needs to honor their feelings, though. I'm getting here. Somebody always pushes their feelings, like, towards the back. And this could be a person that just keeps on focusing on work. 
yeah we have a win-win outcome this is your um energy libra all right so spirit is saying here your intuition here whatever you're thinking is a win-win all right don't doubt yourself i heard um What's the lyrics? Something. Don't doubt that you need me. Is that Beyonce? This ain't no chip, no ego. Focus. What's that? Upgrade you. All right, so we have showed the world the real you. Somebody's like battling here. Somebody could be shy or insecure, and somebody's about to step out, I feel like. Somebody's creativity is about to have them step out of the box. Maybe that's... Yeah, we have you and your loved ones of, say, Cancer, Aquarius, and Libra. All right, somebody needs to heal from something that transpired here is what I'm getting. Somebody got to heal from something. Somebody could be fearing their safety at this time. Yeah, we have soul loss. There's been an ending here. Or maybe somebody's just shut in old skin, something that no longer serves them. Somebody could be grieving about this or somebody lost something. This could be a miscarriage. All right. There could be an Aquarius, Libra or Cancer here who had a miscarriage or somebody's somebody's like soaking over a loss, something that transpired here. It's like a, a, a lot of crying I'm getting at night. Somebody's been crying a lot. Or somebody had to walk away from something and somebody's really sad about this. Somebody's holding on real tight to something that makes them sad. Yeah, we have offerings. Spirit is saying that you need to give this up here. All right. Somebody's like sacrificed their happiness for something here. And it's like somebody's trying to enter a spiritual journey. I feel like you need to dump out here what no longer serves you. Somebody's energy could be, be, be drained by something here that's not serving them. Somebody could be an energy vampire just taking your energy all right, you lost a lot with this person or something like that. Yeah, we have karmic debt. Spirit is saying you paid it off. All right, somebody's suffering here in a certain situation. And this is what's blocking your intuition. All right, yeah, Spirit is saying you need to plant more seeds. Or like I said, with the darkness here, somebody's like in their shadow side. So it's like somebody keeps repeating the same cycles here because the karmic it's time for you to get off the karmic wheel is what I'm getting. You already paid your debt. All right, you took enough losses. You took a lot of L's here. All right, so it's time for you to take something to the to the altar. And when I talk about sacrifices and offerings, I'm not talking about sacrificing people. We're talking about sacrificing things that no longer serves you. So if you're somebody who smokes a lot of weed and you know that it's stagnating you throughout the day, that's something that the Most High God will bless you for with the Ace of Cups because you're giving up something that no longer serves you. You're giving up something that's stagnating you throughout the day. Or if you drink a lot and you know that you could possibly get kid, um, uh, kidney stones or um, you could have kidney problems like me. I like wine. So I'll drink a glass of wine a night. I, like, I don't always have a bottle of wine, but I will drink wine occasionally. Um, and some days on my all the time, if I'm working a lot, I definitely love a cup of wine after work. All right. So spirit is um, saying here, what is this something here that you feel like is taking a lot of time, energy, or is stagnating you from getting to your goal? That is something that you need to sacrifice an offering. What can you give up to the most high God? Or if you don't believe in God, because I know with some people who are non-believers, if you know deep down inside that it's something that's stagnating you, what is it something that you can give up so you can move forward? So we got the Ace of Cups. This is something you'll be blessed for. I'm also sensing here that somebody has their eye on a prize here. All right. This could be a person. This could be a place, a thing, a goal, whatever the case may be. We got the Five of Pentacles. Somebody could either feel like they want to leave a marriage here with the five of pentacles and a hierophant to go towards the ace of cups i'm getting that all right or somebody here is just possibly if you're in a marriage you're just feeling left out here somebody's very guarded somebody's very defensive here and it's just not working all right what's this ace of cups here holy spirit can i have a message on this Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. I see balance and stability coming within uh, 
within your life here. I'm also sensing here somebody could be in a polygamous relationship or at this time somebody's like giving it to or this is the lifestyle. Get a three of pentacles. This could be polygamy. This could be or maybe you, you, you got multiple jobs here. You could have multiple partnerships and you got to put money here. You got to put money there. The four wands. See, I'm sensing it's like polygamy. Somebody's bouncing from home to home or multiple relationships. This is what somebody wants here. Somebody may not have enough of this. So spirit is saying like it's something that you need to end here. And that's the truth. All right. Um, also since in here, that if some of you guys are dealing with court issues here, somebody may be burdened about a truth here that's about to come out from the judicial system here. All right. Um, something that you may not want to hear with the four of cups. Um yeah, two of wands and a five of wands. I'm sensing once somebody gets this news, they're they're gonna be in their head or somebody's holding back some court news here. But this court news is not gonna be appeasing for whoever is dealing with this. Somebody may not like the truth. Um, but I'm also getting here, um somebody does know that they need to give up this lifestyle polygamy if you don't have enough. All right, it's something that you need to take to the altar here. You can't Somebody's just lifestyle is not, um, somebody's not making enough for this. Yeah, we got the nine of wands. Somebody's guarded about some truth here. Somebody's guarded about offering stability here to somebody, possibly because of the truth. The truth could scare somebody here or somebody thought that they could put up illusions here to this person who knows the truth. And somebody's defensive now finding out that somebody was an illusionist. Yeah, somebody's in their head about this. All right. Somebody's very stressed out. Some of you guys could be, we, we got all signs here, earth, air, fire, and water. All right, yeah, we got the Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Something's a heavy burden on somebody, and somebody could be being blocked out here, blocked, all right, from somebody else's success, or somebody was trying to put up blockages here with their illusions to, you know, cause somebody not to succeed here, all right? It's all being pushed away. It's being blocked. Archangel Michael is out here protecting this person for whoever this is resonating for. This person has bared enough burdens, and they won't bear anymore, all right? Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. It's like somebody's just like really bothered by somebody's destiny. So I see here somebody's um, constantly trying to create barriers in somebody's way. You're taking action against them with the Nine of Wands. A lot of magic and manipulation here to stop somebody from moving forward. I do see here somebody wants to offer something, something small. This could even be an apology here, knowing what they've done was wrong. It's like somebody here could have thought somebody was still on a karmic will or somebody transformed a lot. Whereas though, it's like this person's willing to offer whatever to get their happiness. Yeah, somebody's healed at this time. This could be somebody in the public light. All right. Um, also getting here that somebody was dealing with the karmic soulmate. This could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer Scorpio here. All right, we got the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. This person is very victorious, resilient here. Somebody wants to offer to a Queen of Wands, a fire sign, or this person could just be very passionate about what they do. Somebody could be guarded about that. We got the moon. All right, so I get here in secret. Either somebody was offering to somebody else yeah, with the Seven of Cups. Somebody found out about this. All right, but somebody's dealing with the karmic here. I'm also getting here in secret. Somebody wants to offer, but they don't want to admit that they're in a relationship or that they're already, you know, they're they're involved in something or already given to somebody here. Somebody also is like masking how they feel about somebody here. All right. A lot of emotions for somebody, but somebody could still be in a karmic cycle. All right. Not willing to offer something uh but wanting to walk into something yeah with the devil somebody's bind it i'm also sensing here somebody does a lot of work in the shadows here spell work or somebody just really has dark wild thoughts i'm sensing here somebody sexually somebody wants to change somebody up here to a bed chokers is significant here somebody's very kinky and freaky all right, somebody likes this or somebody want two women or something like that all right somebody's in their head about something that didn't work six of cups i'm also getting here if somebody's doing something toxic to somebody the truth is already out and you're going to be going to jail whoever this is resonating for all right somebody could have tried to offer something to the devil and this person's protected all right so if anything you're going to be offered to the devil we got the two of pentacles all right um somebody's really in their head here 
about a certain situation or juggling back and forth. All right. Get yeah, a nine of cups about something that makes them happy. I'm also getting here. Somebody's very greedy. All right. And, you know, greedy and narcissistic. So somebody may need to work on that. All right. I heard cake and eat it too. All right. Get yeah, a high refined because somebody could be already married here and wanting something else on the side. We got the eight of pentacles. I do see somebody being fulfilled by what they do. You can definitely handle the burdens here. You you wear a lot of hats is what I'm hearing. My battery's on 5%. I'm going to be closing this. You wear a lot of hats here. You are going to be fulfilled. Whatever you're doing for work here, you was giving this assignment because you could bear the burdens. I see you holding back here, selfish with your time and energy. Or somebody here is just like withholding feelings here as well. Somebody's not willing to express themselves um to somebody at this time possibly due to work or this is what this person's gonna say we got the emperor here so this aries or capricorn pisces cancer scorpio knows some information that they're withholding two of wands somebody's about to come towards somebody here and clarify or they're about to give somebody some sort of truth that they had been holding back here somebody's in their head obsessed with their thoughts or whatever yeah we got the death card because somebody wants a new beginning here with something that failed the six of cups in reverse with this queen of wands all right if there's some sort of break i see something taking off quickly somebody wants to expand but somebody could be very competitive and ego driven is what i'm getting so my father could want to speak to them as well. Maybe somebody's relationship with their father is not going good right now. Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. I do see somebody wanting to offer something. Somebody's moving towards somebody to offer, but they're in their mind here. Yeah, the Three of Swords in reverse. I see somebody's coming out of heartbreak about an offer. If you were juggled, somebody's no longer heard about this. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups. All right. I see a lot of gifts coming in for somebody. All right, this could be a gift giver. Yeah, with the fool. Somebody wants to move forward. I see a lot of gifts coming in. It's just getting past this five of wands. Or somebody feels as though they want to, but they feel like this queen of cups here has a negative image about them. Somebody could also not know how they feel about this queen of cups because they feel like this queen of cups is a queen of wands. Somebody could think somebody's promiscuous here. All right, somebody could think somebody's very promiscuous. And you know... um. What you think about somebody is only a reflection of yourself. So we do have the Four of Swords. And what's this Four of Swords? Judgment. Somebody feels though, if they don't come through and make an offer, something's going to be laid to rest because somebody feels like somebody placed somebody under judgment here yeah, and, and moved towards work. Six of Wands. Also feel like somebody wants to come out of resting to be victorious. Somebody wants to wrap out a cycle with somebody here. I heard playtime over. We have the five of wands. All right. But it's, it's just like back and forth because this is the king of swords. Very controlling here. Somebody's also who somebody who is controlling is having a hard time releasing their emotions with the king of cups. This is something they don't want to do with the four of cups. Last few messages here for Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. Yeah, I see somebody sad with the five of cups due to an ending of a cycle or argument here that transpired. Yeah, tower, something blown up in somebody's face because somebody's hell. Or there's an Aquarius here who's trying to bring a tower moment into somebody's life. A Scorpio or um, a Aries and Aquarius could have withheld some information that they're sad about. They wish they would have shared something like that. So I'm here. Last message is here. Yeah, we got the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I do see somebody here watching, desperately wanting to communicate. Yeah, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. And it's all about their emotions. Somebody's really like burdened by their emotions for this Queen of Cups because they rejected this person. And if they did reject the Queen of Cups, like I said, it could be due to them feeling like this person's promiscuous. But I also feel like here, if somebody rejected the Queen of Cups, they went towards the Queen of Wands here, who's like... It's not good for them. Yeah, we got the King of Wands and last message. Yeah, the, the, the Page of Cups. I meant the Knight of Cups. So I feel like here somebody's watching. Somebody wants to offer something. But I feel like somebody's not out of the stages of like playing around. So I see something just not working. I see somebody here just 
possibly wanting to come in and shower somebody with gifts, showing them that they care. But with the seven of swords, somebody's still doing something in the background. But somebody does feel like they got to keep an eye on somebody here. Maybe they feel like they got to show this person attention or this person to get somebody else. or some, Somebody's just feeling like a missed opportunity or something's like a missed opportunity. Last few messages that's uh, ended with some love. Love readings uh, for somebody out there looking for love. All right. If this is a love thing. All right. If this is a love. All right. Yeah, we have forgiven and learning. Somebody needs to forgive somebody about something as you release and heal the past. You experience more uh, love in your present moments. Somebody can have a hard time expressing their feelings due to something that happened in their past that's transpired. But this person is still harboring old energy. Um, Spirit is saying if something has happened in your past that's affecting you here, um, you got to go ahead and you got to um, you got to forgive I could also sense um, this could be a masculine who thinks that feminines are beneath them. Because as you can see, this masculine is holding this feminine's head down. I don't know. Head could be significant. Oral sex here. I heard, Lord, have mercy. They keep flossing like I do. Get up in this chair. Get up in between. Why are you looking at me? Like I ain't gave you no choice. I don't know. Um, what's that song? Lord have mercy. Chloe, Chloe. I don't know if it's Bailey. Somebody may want to listen to that song. All right. So it could be a masculine here who wants a feminine to worship him. This masculine is being talked to by spirit. He got angels and spirits above him telling them that this is not the way to operate here. Yeah, we got passion. Yeah, somebody wants head or somebody wants sex. Somebody's very passionate about somebody. Allow your heart and, and soul to sing with joy. Somebody's very attracted to somebody here. It's just a power struggle. Somebody doesn't want to show somebody how attracted they are, how passionate they are about this person's sex. Somebody's shit can smell like a rose or it's just very pure. Somebody's looking at somebody like a rose. All right. I heard the butterfly effect and we have you deserve love. Somebody's having like insecurity issues here. Maybe somebody thinks somebody's too perfect here. Spirit is saying that you are lovable and we have expressed your love. Yeah, I'm going to end it right there. Somebody's like in this very giddy and playful energy and somebody else here. I don't know, or somebody was, and maybe somebody's flirting around town here. Spirit is saying, pay attention to the red flags. I don't know. Somebody here does need to express themselves, or I feel like somebody is going to be just in their energy like they don't hurt. I don't know. All right. Um, so that was for Gemini, Virgo, and Libra. If any of this resonated today, like, share, and subscribe.